Now, today is a very strange broadcast, not at work. Um, today is November 15th, and Jim will try to channel one way, and there is no, uh, no direct connection backwards. Actually, you know, we can, we can use chat if, if you want. You can click on chat button. Yeah, they can read it to me if you can read the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Click on the chat. Oh, text connection. If there's any questions. Um, the thing is, I won't know. You'll have to keep reading there because yeah, if, send I go, if my connection goes out completely, I won't know. Yeah, Sandy will tell you. Okay, they, Sandy and Joe are here. All right. So the, the, the so Sandy and Joe will read for you. So we can, uh, the topic of today is contact, and contact is apparently not happening very well. No. All right. So, All right. Jim, Jim, you can go channel and we'll see who comes through. Uh, they want you to put your phone on uh, call, not speakers, so it doesn't feed back into the microphone. Oh, is it feeding back? Yeah. Yeah, give the phone yeah, to uh, John. You do the reading. Okay. Okay. She has the phone. So we're live now. Okay, hi everybody. I wish I could hear your lovely voices, but I cannot. So we will do this, what I would call, as remotely as possible. So um, this is Joe here behind me, and this is Sandy, as you know. Wave, everybody. We're in my upstairs computer room, which is small, and they're sitting on a bed. So, <laughs> it is a very strange webinar today, indeed. So, but yes, send us energy. Give your Reiki, those of you who know Reiki, uh, send out some energy. Uh, perhaps the vocal uh, part, the, the sound will start working. Um, I'm giving my modem some energy right now, and it's saying, oh, thank you, but... Um, it's still not working very well. So, I will uh, do a meditation, and uh, if you have a question, you'll have to type it in. So, make sure you do that so we can read it. Can you read the... He's reading this on... Okay. I'm on the phone listening for Max. Somebody from at and t joined this call. I just got a notice. It was up in the corner. What does it say? I have someone's name. Oh, okay. Very good. Alrighty then. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Pegasus. I don't know who all's there, but I saw those few names. Sabrina and is... Uh, oh, Caitlin is there. Very good. Oh, Rowie and Kim. Hi. So... Anyway, um, I will start it now. I can't even ask you who you want to, to come, so...
<sighs> Hello, this is Buddha. Welcome, Buddha. I've come to do the third eye chakra, or the forehead chakra, as it is sometimes known as. There are many things about it. I could talk for many days about each of the chakras, but this one in particular has many, many facets and different things about it that are interesting and amazing. First of all, the third eye is actually that. It is a psychic eye. It is the eye into the soul, the eye into things unseen, and the, the eye into the things unknown. So also, it is an eye into your own soul. And in third dimension, where you are right now, and where I was, it is mostly used as an eye into the soul, into the heart, into the places of your body, mind, and spirit that you cannot see at this time, but it can shed light on those areas. Now, in other ways, it can shed light on the future. It can shed light on your uh, what is going to happen shortly, which is not necessarily the future, but a, a, a now that is stretched out, maybe. Does that make any sense to you? But it is in the now, and it is in the very moment of that future that it is showing you at the moment, but it is still in the now. Does that make sense to you? I would like to explain also that the third eye, as it gets larger, and greater to third dimension at some times, depending on how it is opened. Let me explain that. And I'm sure there will be lots of questions. But from what my understanding is that there is no voices coming at me. So I will have to give you as best as explanation as possible. First of all, when you go to open your third eye, the eye of mysticism to many, the, the eye that the Illuminati uses as a symbol, actually, sometimes, and is on the dollar bill. So this eye is the center of your psyche. This eye can be opened fully or can be altogether all closed in third dimension. Some people in third dimension do not even open. that was not of importance to the third eye. It was something very grounded and very third dimensional. Does that make sense to you? I know you can't answer. But mm, this is very odd. There is some kind of, um, there is some kind of interference here. Can you feel it as well? Yes, hello. Yes, there is interference here, but it is all right. It is trying to stop all the communications from happening here because there is much to learn and much to be understood about the third eye, about all the chakras. There's still much more information to come. But the third eye being opened tells you that there is something in your learning process that deals with the third eye, with the psyche, with the fourth dimension, with something of the soul that is not yet seen, with something of the mind or the body that is not yet seen and needs to be seen before the lesson can be learned or while the lesson is being learned. So as we live our third dimensional lives, as I lived mine, I learned that my third eye was a, a vision to my soul, a vision to who I was spiritually, 
my spiritual person, my spiritual understanding of things, what's connected to my third eye. Also, I've learned since I've been in spirit that it is connected to the heart as well. It is opening those things in the heart that would be unconditional love, spirit, understanding, telepathy even. So telepathy starts in the heart, but can be helped by the third eye and by all the other chakras as well. But the third eye especially because it connects the heart to a different place in the soul. Does that make sense to you? I will have to rely on the sounds behind me to know if I am getting through. Um, does that make sense to you? Yes. yes. That's good. All right. Yes. The third eye connects to the soul in a different way than all the other chakras because it is beyond the soul. It is beyond the third dimension. All the other chakras even though they can go into past lives and future lives, are not connected to a psyche as the third eye is. And the, psyche, the soul as closely as the third eye is. The third eye will bring you into your soul experience and bring the soul out of the body even. And those of you that can astral travel, you, your third eye has connected to the soul so that it can take the soul different places. This is your traveling center, if you will. You can travel from the heart. You can see the things. You can understand the things and um, be in a different place. You can be in two places at one time. And this is how it works. Now, there are some on the earth that their third eye chakra is wide open, but they are prostitutes and drug addicts, and those people that are um, seem not to be part of the society. Why is that? Why is their, their, their uh, third eye so wide open, and yet they seem to be so dysfunctional. It has been proved that many uh, of those that have taken mind-expanding drugs and things of that nature, their third eyes are wide open. However, they are not living in reality. They are not grounded and rooted in reality. So it is possible to have your third eye wide open and not be using it properly. Therefore, I want you to make sure that you ground yourself with the, the use of the third eye. If you plan to astral travel or learn things about uh, understand that it is a, a spiritual thing and it must be uh, treated as such. It cannot just be treated as something daily because it is not a daily occurrence that you, the third eye is helping you to travel somewhere or helping you with soul projects. It does not happen every day. Your third eye must be, it will be open, but to be in a third dimensional body and reality, it cannot work that way. Do you understand what I'm speaking of? So you must ground yourself first to bring this energy up through the fourth dimension, which has been spoken of many, many times. However, and there are intended meditations for opening the third eye, but let me tell you, they must be intended. Intend, intend, intend. It is very important that you understand where you're going if you're going to go somewhere. You don't just walk out the door and start traveling. It's the same with the third eye. You don't just say, take me wherever. That doesn't work that way. Your intention must be spiritual. Your intention must have a purpose. It must be something positive in if you want it to work 
to the best of its ability. There are those who intend to open their third eye for in negative things and have done so, and therefore you have things that are unnatural to the third dimension. You still have unnatural things to the third dimension with positive things as well. But the negative seems to cause a lot more. positive feedback from the third eye and another dimension, another time from the soul. And it is really positive. It's hard to get rid of that as well. It stays with you. So these negative things that people call on for the third eye and the third dimension also are hard to get rid of because it reaches to the very soul. Do you understand that? When you're using the third eye, it is connected to the soul. Your flame, your fire, you that which is you in connection with the third eye. Yes. Now, you can connect yourself with all the other chakras. But when using the third eye and opening the third eye into a greater world of understanding, a greater world of prospects, if you will, you must be careful. It's... It's not just a, a, a happy-go-lucky thing. It can be wonderful that your third eye is open and that you're feeling fourth-dimensional energy moving up through your body. And, and that's a wonderful thing. But if you're going to do a travel, if you're going to do something with the soul, please intend it. Please intend it. Now... More than just that with the third eye is your greater understanding of third dimension. The third eye, when open, also gives you a greater understanding of who you are in this dimension where you live. It gives me a greater understanding of fourth dimension where I lived at one time. In spirit, it's always open and giving giving information always because it can work that way in spirit because there is no density to to get in the way of it do you understand that so it works different in different dimensions but it is here in your third dimensional body and so it's best used for third dimensional work for understanding for peace for confidence it is connected to all the other chakras of course we all the chakras are connected all the chakras have information in them from past lives all the chakras are wonderful in their own special way but this one can help you with your life path as well as the as, as other ones can, but this one is a little different when it comes to life path. It is your spiritual life path, not your your creative part, not your not your uh, what you're planning to do for a life uh, job. Is it called job? Your life function, but it is your spiritual path. Here, it can affect all these things down in the, the lower chakras, but it is a higher path. It is your higher path of understanding. It is your higher path of connection. And you have to be in a certain place in, in development, in your growth in the spirit, to even be able to open the third chakra unless you in, had intended it for something different and it was open for something um, earthly that was drug oriented or something of that nature because dr there are chemicals that can open the third eye do, do not be to be opened but during your travel with that chemical the eye is opened and that is how some negative things happen there is so much to tell you about the third eye and how it can be manipulated but it can I understand be opened by
the third eye is opened, it usually does not go closed. It usually does not go closed. And why is that? Because it is experiencing. The third eye is part of your experience. It is continuing to experience. Do you understand that? Once it is open, it does not want to close. It does not want to close. It wants to experience. It wants the information. It wants to know what you want. It wants to know what you do. It wants to know what spirit is doing with you. And it connects to those things. And it brings it into all into a spiritual realm. Even the things that are third dimension that you do, the third eye brings into a spiritual realm. Does that make sense to you? Yes. It understands it in a different way than your third dimensional body does. Now, some of this information you're going, what? I'm not sure that it's correct. But take my word for it. I have been around the earth a long time. And I have been around the spirit world a long time. And the third eye is hungry. It connects to the soul, yes. And the soul gives it energy as well. But it also wants to know everything about the third dimension because it is really a little different than... The, it is the part of you that is the most non-third dimensional. And the most third dimensional because it wants to know everything. But it can take you places that is not in the third dimension. By understanding the third dimension, it can go beyond the third dimension. Now, I, I sometimes I think I should stop there and let you think about that for about a week before I come back and tell you anything else because that is a lot to really think about. That the third dimension and the third eye change things. When you open your third eye and become actually active with it and active upon it and within all the parts of it, you yourself change. You yourself change because you can't help it. Your third eye is understanding your spirituality is understanding what you want in your life, is understanding what you're doing in your life, your creativity, your thoughts, everything, but it is all connected to a different place, the soul. Not, not that I'm saying creativity isn't created to the soul or whatever. No, I'm not saying that none of the chakras are created, I mean, attached to the soul. I'm not saying that. But there is a special connection, is what I'm saying. A special connection. Now, I want to, before I go any farther, there must be questions out yes, there. Yes, there are some questions. Why don't, we add, why don't we find out what those questions are? Okay, uh, Kim wants to know, what was your technique of opening the third eye? I was fortunate. I had help with priests that told me how to, how to guide me. Um, intended meditations there's um, there are some uh, how, how would I say this there are some natural drugs that also can help you open your eye with a great intention if you don't overdo it there they have a particular amount that they like you to do if if you're doing something with drug use as we call it but that can actually affect uh, the opening of the third eye because of the chemicals that are used. There are um, hypnosis can open the third eye in some cases if it's really necessary for it to be opened and different things like that. Does that answer your question? I cannot hear you so I won't I will continue to the next question. Okay, the next question um, is is there a way to open the pineal gland through the massage area of the mouth? Um, yes, there is. But I, I do not recommend that. Um, I do not recommend that. 
And I, I won't go into that right now, but I do not recommend the, that you massage the pineal gland through the mouth. Because there can be other things that you are also massaging there that can be not healthy to you. I believe they are looking for more questions. Are you? Yes. Oh. Did you find any? No. Not so. Oh, no. Um. Uh, uh. I can continue if you'd like. Yes. All right. Yes, yeah, so I w the last question was, there is pine pineal stimulation, but um, it's not it's not always the best way to do it. So um I will I could go into that some other time. Yes. You can everyone if you, but you see, first of all, let me explain something. To open up the third eye, the forehead chakra is you have to be in a proper place of understanding. If you are not in a, that proper place of understanding, opening the third eye will do very little for you. It will still be hungry for information and things of that nature, but you won't be prepared for what it's, it's going to give you, what, it's, what the understanding of it, the spiritual gratification won't be there because your spirit isn't ready for it. However, there are those that have opened it up early and have people that are successful with the the gaining of knowledge and understanding and movement with the third eye have worked up through their chakras and are ready for it. It's just not something you open as soon as you become aware of your chakras. You don't say, ah, I want that third eye open right now. No, you cannot really experience it well until you're ready for it. And you, you will know when you're ready for it, uh, but some people will open it anyway, and that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to, at any time to open your third eye. I just want it to be an experience for you that is meaningful and draws in on your soul and your spirit and expands your thought processes. And if you open it early, it doesn't always do that. It doesn't always do that. However, it does help you grow quicker sometimes. So, does that make sense? Somebody asked me a question about that. I hear, I hear a question coming. Yeah, there's another question. Yeah. What kind of intention are you referring to when traveling? Um, to visit the sick, those people that you cannot be with when you're... All right, let me give you an, um, a scenario, if you will. If someone is very sick, and you are 3,000 miles away, and you need to be with this person because it may be their final time. You can use your third eye astral projection to be with them. And they will see you, they will talk to you, they will understand you, and you will be with them in spirit. They will see you as not spirit, they will see you as a third dimensional being, however, you will not actually be there but you will be there in your spirit. You will be both places, really. Uh, it's hard to explain what I mean, but they will have the comfort of your presence in their final time, and you will be able to tell them the things that you need to tell them before they pass or before they move on. That is just one scenario. Sickness is another. If someone is very sick, just to visit them, to give them comfort, to help them get well. You can be in two places at once. This is possible if that intent is pure for that reason. And for to stop things that in your If your intention is to heal a situation, you can be there to heal that as well. 
Right? There's many, many different things I could tell you about, but your intent, I think you understand what I'm talking about, the intent at this time. Is there another question? Yes. Uh, can you please help us in opening it if we call for you? Yes. I can help you open your third eye. I can also let you know where you are in your spiritual journey. You see, your third dimensional journey and spiritual journey are intertwined and cannot be separated. But there is a time when it is good to open, and sometimes there is a time when it is not good to open it. So, yes, but I can help, yes. Is there another question? If the intent is first contact with uh, extraterrestrials, how can this help? If you are intending that your third eye is opened for that intent, it probably won't happen because they are in control of that and you are not. The third eye you control in many ways. Do you understand that? If there are things beyond your control, you may be able to help it, but you will not, it will not be greatly in help because the third eye is for your use. It is to help others, yes, but that is, uh, that is a, huge, a huge thing that you're trying to help. It would be many, many, many third eyes that must be open to actually give them enough energy to be changed. All right, then. I think I have done enough. I'm going to do another third eye presentation later in some time in this year, but not right now. I think you have enough to think about right for the moment. And I love you all, and I hope you understood what I was trying to say, because sometimes language is a barrier, and I hope it was not. But I do want you to know that there is much love connected with the third eye, if that's the intent, and much spirit, if that's the intent, because it is your connection to the soul, a part of the soul that's not open until the third eye is. And I'm glad you understand that. So I will leave you now with much love. Namaste. Namaste. And many blessings. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, I have just come to visit for one moment. Mm, yes. I have to tell you, though, there is some interferences happening right now. Uh, many things. I, I wondered if any of you noticed the moon lately. Yes. How it's in one position one night and a completely different place the next night. Did you ever notice that? Mm -hmm. It's different too. It's, it's because of your the wobble of the earth. Yes, uh, one night it will be over in the in this in this side over here, and then uh, two days later it's way over here at the same time of the evening. What is that? That isn't very unusual. But if you have noticed it, it is the wobble of your earth. It is doing a wobble, so and that is causing weather problems and it's causing uh, earth problems. But as you can see, Grook Fick near those those people there, those those uh, species there, they're really taking care of you. They're really taking care of you because you have not really experienced much uh, badness from that. It has all been very good, and. Um, of course, there are some storms and zero-seeming things, but they have enough ships around the Earth to help 
with keeping it in balance, the tides and things, so that it has uh, been okay. So I just wanted to let you know that. But I was wondering how many of you noticed it, that the moon is in different places at the same time and night in different nights. Have yeah, you? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, so you, that is something, and they never speak about that. Usually in the past, <laughs> your time, every night, same place, you know, a slightly different, but but as you understand, it's 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 traveling so in a very uh, smooth pattern, but not at this time. So if you have noticed that, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Nobody is talking about that, but it is an interesting fact. All right, I I see. Did the, anyone have a question for me? Can I read any questions? Or was it, are they still for Buddha? Um, no, because it is an interference of the uh, in spatial matter at this point. So, but everyone here feels the interference, I think, right? Mm -hmm. I do now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, they they can feel it physically. There is an interference here, and I can actually feel it as well. So this may not be a very long webinar, unfortunately, but. Um, because I'm sure that, oh, I'm sure, yes, that everyone, I'm not sure if everybody out there is feeling it, but everyone here, I can feel it within this body as well, yes. So uh, I'm going to go for now. Much love to you. It's good to see you. I see some of you anyway. But uh, I will come back at another time. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, hi, Jim. Good hey, hi. Hi. How is everybody doing? I can't hear you. <laughs> Let me see. Sabrina, hi. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying to read some of the... Th it says, thank you, Jim. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um... This has been a very unusual webinar. It's It's been a little crazy. There's a lot of something here. I'm not yeah. sure what it is. It's, heavy. it's, it's a very heavy. Um, <coughs> it almost feels electronic, doesn't it? It's like my house. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's something not quite right here. So um, I think that today we should have a shorter webinar. But, but I would love to... Uh, I would have loved to hear Sabrina and others give some uh, prayers. Can you do that anyway? And I'll just uh, meditate for a little bit. And Max, you can take over and see if somebody wants to give a final prayer or whatever. He left. Okay. Oh, Max left. Sabrina, you want to take over? Because I can't yes. hear anyone. Yes. Can you write me what you're saying? I... We'll do a prayer. Okay, very good. I see some messages. Sabrina says I will. I will do a prayer. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sabrina. And uh, can you control the live, uh, turning off the live after it's over? Uh uh, I can you turn off the uh, the webinar after it's over, or do I have to do that? Oh, okay. I might have to do that here. Wait, wait, with this button. Max has to do it. She says. Oh well, he is not here. Isn't that globe, Max? Where is he? Uh, isn't this Max? I thought he said he had to leave. Oh, that's who called the TV, isn't it? Okay, we can. I'll find a way. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be quiet so we can just, when you're done, just let us know.
Sarakatanana, Torakatu, Sarakatu, Sarananaka, To Sakatana, Hario Soro to Kuskuru, Harakanana Kuskarakatana, Hariakaskuru, Sokunanani, Tio Soro no Kuarakasiara to Sokutu, Sorokonana Kia Sakatu, Sorona, Sariaka, To Sarata, Tanaka, Hario Skotua. We are done, Jim. Does anybody else wish to say anything? Hello? Thank you for everything and much Okay, love she's done. Um, thank you, everybody, for um, everything and your love and your uh, support. I think that I may need a new computer. Yeah. <laughs> but that is okay. All right, much love to you, and I will talk to you all soon. And if there's any questions, just send them to my... Uh, to my uh, Gmail account, which is on there somewhere, and um, I'm hoping Joe here is a uh, computer. Uh, he thinks he can fix it. Okay, that's good. All right, much love to you. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to try to go off live. Nope. I think we just have to all sign out. All right. Thank you. Much Thank love. You. Bye -bye, Thank you. Bye-bye. Sorry about this. This has not been the best. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank you all for coming. Bye-bye. You just click it off. You have people. I think Max has to stop the live. Feed. Yeah, Max has to stop the live. I, I can't do it because I'm not signed in as Yukolo. Uh -huh. All right. I think some people want to come in and chit chat a little bit too. Stephen Helms wants to come in too. He was watching. Yeah. Um. So do we want to start a new one or? Yeah. Uh, if we're going on the Yukolo, uh, it's best we start uh, our own hangout if right. this one's going live. Because we don't want to interfere with what they're doing. Yeah, post it on uh, Hukalo Skype. On. Uh, okay. Yeah, Thank post you. it there, and we'll all drop. Okay. And say goodbye to everybody. And mm -hmm. obviously, we had a lot of interference today. <laughs> but, but we got that. But we did it. So. Uh -huh. Okay. See you on the other side. Please come again. Goodbye. <laughs>
Oh shit. I think I made it. Hello. Hello? Hello. Is the webinar over now? Well, uh, yeah. Well, it's still on live right now, but we're still having a uh, off. Uh, we'll be off live. Uh, in, uh, so we're still having it per se. This, this, uh, we're trying to get it off live. They're having some issues with their computer, gym is and stuff. How are you? I'm doing well. I was so sad I missed the webinar this morning. I was sitting there waiting for the participation link, and then it had been there. I just didn't click on it, so I'll get the hang of it next time. <laughs> cool, cool. <clears throat> My name is Sharon, by the way. Who am I speaking with? This is this. This is Stephen. Hello. Hello, Sharon. <laughs> This is a nice, that's a pretty name. Sure, how do you spell that? S H R. Huh? Uh, I see it. S H R O N N. Yes. Sharon. Cool. Where are you from? I'm from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I'm from Texas. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I traveled to Oklahoma City not too long ago, actually. Uh, I drive. I drive for a living, so. Okay. You drove from Texas. Yeah, I work for uh, the railroad. For uh, contracted out Rinsenberger, and we transport the engineering conductor that operates the trains of BNSF. Oh, very cool. So, were there was there going to be any more um, conversations today, or hangouts, or? Yes, yeah. Uh, there's going to be a link. Uh, are you on Skype on uh, the Huckalo questions? Uh, there's a link on there. I could post it on the chat area. Give me one second. I'll post okay. it. Okay. Yeah, because I could not find that. I didn't even know. I was looking for the participation like thing. I don't know. I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, you finally did, huh? Something like that. <laughs> There, there you go. It's in the it's in the chat. Uh, that you can uh, click on that link on the on the chat area, and that'll give you the link to the new uh, uh, webinar that I believe we're having. Well, I'll see you there. Peace. <laughs>